In this video, we're going to learn how to change percents into decimals and decimals into percents. So remember that percents are out of 100. So in order to change these into decimals, let's first change this, in, this one into a fraction. So remember it's out of 100, so that means it's going to be 7 over 100. And then remember when we change fractions into decimals, we just read it 7 one hundredths. So we end up getting 7 one hundredths, because the seven is going to go in the hundredths place. Now, in order to skip this part of having to write it as a fraction every single time, let's take a look at 7% and our final answer decimal down here. Well, if we look at this, the decimal point was originally here behind the seven, and we ended up moving it over two times. Well, when you move a decimal two times, that means that you're working with a power of 100. And in this case, in order to move it in the direction that we did, in order to make the number smaller, we ended up dividing. So basically what you do is you take this percent, 7%, and you divide it by 100, or you move the decimal point over twice to the left. So let's give that a try over here with our 54%. So that means the decimal point is right here at the end of the 4, and if we're going to divide by 100 or move the decimal point twice to the left, it's going to end up, this is 1, 2, it's going to end up here in front of the 5. So our answer is going to be 0 0.54, or 54 one hundredths. We're going to do the same thing with this example here, 85 and 2 one hundredths. The decimal point is right here between the 5 and the 2, so we're going to divide by 100, by 100 or move the decimal point over twice to the left, and so that means we go once, twice, that means our decimal point is going to be here in front of the 8. So our answer is going to be 0 decimal point, and we're going to write all of this, 8, 5, 2. So remember, you just move the decimal point over twice, once, twice. And if you have to, you can put zeros in as placeholders. Now let's change decimals into percents. So now we're going to do the opposite thing. Instead of dividing by 100, we're going to multiply by 100. That means we're going to move the decimal point twice to the right. So if our decimal point is here between the 0 and the 4, I move it over once, twice. That means I'm going to put the decimal point here. In order to put the decimal point right there, I need to put a placeholder here. I can put a 0 there. So that means our answer ends up being 40 percent. Don't forget to write the percent sign. We can do the same thing with this example. I'm going to move the decimal point twice to the right or multiply by 100. So once, twice, that means our decimal point ends up here at the end of the 4. So our answer will be 34 percent. And here's our last example. The decimal points between the 1 and the 0. So it's right here. I'm going to move it over twice to the right or multiply by 100. Once, twice, that means it's going to be here at the end. So that means we're going to have 101%. So in order to change percents into decimals, you're going to divide by 100 or move the decimal point twice to the left. And to change decimals into percents, you're going to move the decimal point twice to the right or multiply by 100. 